everybody! Today, we are going to learn how to make Korean style ox bone soup. It's made with ox uh, leg bones. If I make the only this soup with only ox bones, it's boring. So we just uh, add like beef, a flank part. But you can use brisket or round part. Rinse this. Trim the fat little. Soak in cold water. So already like a pinkish, right? So blood is uh, should be drawn out. So boil uh, boil water in a large pot. I'm going to wash again and drain the water. And then we are going to dump this into boiling water. Slowly, bones and beef also. So let it boil. Close the lid. Low a little bit heat. Just only a few minutes later, you will see the water color change, the brownish color, and also fat is floating. I'm going to open the lid and let it boil. So around 10 minutes, I boil these bones and beef. So turn off the heat, it will look like this. Lots of like foams and fats on the surface. So I'm going to Drain the water and rinse. So really, all bones and beef, we just cleaned this. And set it aside. These pots and lid, we have to wash really thoroughly. Pour some water, a little bit onion, Korean radish. Radish is going to make this you know, broth very tasty. Peel the skin like this. Over medium heat, bring to a boil. Around 30 minutes later, it's really boiling over. So now it's time to lower the heat. It's really low heat. So I just boiled around three hours. So three hours after this, the all the water is less than half the amount of that it used to be. Pork is beef easily you know go through so I, i'm going to transfer this beef and see the radish also easily go through to set it aside to cool down and then to close the lid again boil it making bone soup is very very easy but it takes a long time a lot of my friends when they make the uh, when they boil the soup, they just because it takes a long time, they forget about this, and then they go out even like the next door, you know, friends' house, have a coffee, come back, and then all the bones are burnt. You should be careful. Always uh, like uh, to be pay attention to your bones when you make this. Around two and a half hours later, milky broth. We made this, and I'm going to pour this. Uh, 
broth into this uh, stainless bowl, large size. All the marrow part is uh, come out. We can get more like white milky broth. I'm going to add more water to this. All the delicious stuff from the bones uh, will come out. First start, medium high heat. So when it's uh, start boiling and the simmer this low heat, and again, two or three hours until like the, you will see the really milky broth again. Uh, when we get the really milky broth again, I'm going to add more here. And then later, put this in, keep this in the refrigerator. Uh, last night, I made that white milky broth made with exactly the same amount of bones. And then kept this in the refrigerator. See, check this out. On top, is there like some solid, solid like fat? We can't eat this. So this seed looks like a little like a jello, right? We can use this now, but we didn't put any salt here, just the milky broth. So let's boil it cooked radish and beef. So let's cut this. So I'm going to put it back here. And this beef, there was two pounds of but really shrunk like this size. Thinly slice this. This one, let's tear this, like this. It's so very tender. I will transfer this. So we are almost done. And the bone soup, delicious bone soup, it's going to be served with rice. Green onion, let's chop it. Green onion. So hot pepper flakes, green onion, and salt. Just simply put some green onion here. And one clove of garlic. Soy sauce, one or two teaspoons, and sesame oil, and mix it well. Black ground pepper, show you two different ways of serving this. Just so simply a little bit of you know, the cooked radish here. Meat, a little like uh, this amount. And also this uh, cooked radish here. More hot pepper flakes if you want. Green onion, some green onion, and garlic. This one also, green onion, garlic. Okay. Black ground pepper. Dissolve with rice. I'm going to put this rice into this whole bowl. Wow, I'm so hungry now. So good. So people believe that this is good for your health, especially during the winter time. So today we made Korean style ox bone soup. So delicious. This is the winter food. 
enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye bye.